So recently I did a webinar for PPA and the topic was full frame versus APS-C and kind of talking about the pros and cons of each system. And part of what we did near the end of that webinar was I just showed a bunch of photos and let people in the comments section guess if I took it with a full frame or with a crop sensor. And so I thought that was really fun. It was a cool kind of thing to do. And I think people were surprised by the results. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just going to show you some of my photos and I'll let you think about it for a second. And then I'm going to tell you which camera system I use it for. So a little bit about me before we do that. I am a portrait photographer based in New York. My name's Pete and I do use both a full-frame Canon system and a um, crop sensor Fuji system and I use both of those and maybe at the end if you stick around to the end of the images I'll talk a little bit about like why I use both and 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 all of that but let's just get right into the images because that's the fun part okay here's the first image I'm going to show you this is a portrait taken at my studio um, and I'm gonna hide the metadata because then you're gonna if you're looking at that, you're gonna know. So this, this particular photo was taken with a Canon R5 and a 50 millimeter lens, I believe, if I remember correctly, 50 millimeter 1.2, shot at 1.2. And this is studio lighting, of course. Uh, so here you go, first photo, full frame camera. Uh, Canon R5 is what I use a lot in my studio. Let's look at the next one. This is an actress friend of mine a uh, wonderful actress, and um, she runs a acting school out on Long Island. What do you think, full frame or is this crop sensor? This, my friends, is crop sensor. This was taken with Fuji X-T5, and I believe, if I remember correctly, the 16-55 to 55 lens. Can I make this full? There we go. That's even better. Now we can do full screen. Okay, let's look at the next one. This was taken in New York City at, uh, I don't remember where, some bar that I was playing at, and this cool guy was part of another band, and um, I used a cell phone, I believe, if I remember correctly, like a cell phone light uh, to light his face outside. Full frame or cropped? This is cropped Fuji X-T5 and 50 millimeter F1. All right, let's see what else we got in there. This is one of my favorite photos, and one of my friends, um, Wayne Tucker, who's an amazing jazz trumpet player in New York and globally goes everywhere and plays jazz. Um, full frame, this particular one, Canon, uh, I think it was the R5, I don't remember. Some of these are, <laughs> you think I would remember, but let's see, will it tell us? Sometimes it'll tell us in the metadata. R5, or is a 5D Mark III? Yep, R5, 70-200, Canon lens. This is Warren Vache, uh, trumpet legend. Taken before a concert while he was warming up, I grabbed this shot. This is one of my favorite shots. Full frame or cropped? This is a Fuji X-T5 crop sensor, and this lens on here is, let's see, does it tell us here? 50 millimeter. F1, one of my favorite uh, lenses to use, especially at concerts. 50 millimeter F1 Fuji lens. Lots of trumpet players in here. Another trumpet player, this is Tony Glousey, very well-known trumpeter. Uh, this was Canon, full frame, taken a, a number of years ago at my studio. And this one, I believe, yep, this was before I even got into mirrorless. So this is a Canon 5D Mark III camera, took this particular one. All right, what else we got here? What else we got? Full frame or cropped sensor? Well, that is a Fuji X-T5 crop sensor and 50 millimeter F1. And that was taken at my studio. That is uh, a model, Tristan, cool dude. Laura, uh, dancer, wonderful um, friend and, and subject. So this is what? Full frame or crop sensor? What do we think? What do we think? And uh, just scream at your just scream at your uh, TV screen or at your cell phone screen or your iPad. Just scream it out. Let your friends and family around you think you're going a little crazy, uh, and uh, you'll be right or wrong 50% of the time. This is crop sensor. Now this is actually Fuji XT50. That little tiny kind of prosumer camera. I don't know if that's what it would be, but it's kind of like a pocket camera, but it has 40 megapixels, a nice little camera. And I took that with that camera and um, 
no metadata. Sometimes it doesn't give it to you if I've like, oh, wait, no, yeah, nothing. I think this was the 16 to 55 lens, if I remember correctly. Okay, moving right along. A very yellow, bright scene of, an, of a young actress. And this is full frame Canon R5 and 70 to 200 millimeter. I hope you're as excited as I am about all of this because this is pretty exhilarating for me doing this. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I think it's educational and fun. That's the, and I bet you will too. Okay. This is uh, Chad Lefkowitz Brown, very well known and amazing uh, jazz saxophone player. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of musicians in my portfolio. That's because I photograph a lot of musicians, <laughs> clearly, and I am one. That's what, how I kind of am connected in that scene. I'm a jazz musician in my previous life, I was, and uh, I still play a little bit, but mostly I take pictures of them now. This uh, full frame Canon R5. This, that looked blurry, but it was just loading. Here's another one of the lovely Laura. And this was taken at my studio. Um, what do you think? Full frame, crop sensor. This is full frame, Canon R5 on this one as well. And this was with the 50 millimeter F1.2 Canon lens, which is really one of my favorite lenses right now. Um, not only because it's like crazy tack sharp, even wide open, but also because I like to shoot wide open, and so that allows me to really just blur out a lot of the scene, and I like the soft, the kind of soft, creamy effect it gives the images. Another cool guy, another cool musician. What do we think? Full frame or crop sensor? This is crop sensor. This is a Fuji X-T5 and 16 to 55 lens, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, taken at my studio. This was Canon full frame, R5, 50 millimeter, F1.2. And um, she gave birth the next day. So that's kind of a cool story. We got these maternity photos in literally under the gun. Here's another one of uh, my buddy Wayne, trumpet player, uh, who I photographed a number of times over the years, number of times. This particular one is Canon, R5 and... Uh, that is a 7200, and this is the old 7200 EF lens with an adapter. All right, what do we think about this one? Full frame, crop, neither. This is full frame. If you're getting bored, don't. All right, <laughs> CEO guy, uh, full frame or crop sensor? Mm, crop sensor. This was Fuji X-T5 and 35 millimeter 1.4 lens, the old one, which is like the special one that everyone kind of loves. Uh, I love that lens too. I do like shooting around 50 millimeter focal length. Tariq and a friend of mine, another great videographer. This was Canon R5 full frame. Peter Hurley style lighting and cropping on this one. Brianna and this is, I don't remember, uh, okay, so what I thought, yes, Canon, once again, R5, full frame, um, and this was the 7200 as well, so in my studio, I'll, I'll use most of the time um, Canon 50 millimeter or the 7200, or if I'm using the Fuji gear, I'll use the 16 to 55 or the 50 millimeter F1 Fuji lens. So those are kind of the lenses and the cameras that I use most often in my studio. This is Olga, super cool artist. And um, this was what? Full frame, crop sensor, micro four thirds, triple micro 18% gray card thirds. Nope, it was none of that. No, it was one of those. It was Fuji X-T5. Again, in my studio. And this, I believe, was the 50 millimeter. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, shot at 1.1. Okay, here's another one. Now, this is interesting uh, because it is what? Full frame, crop sensor, something else, perhaps? It is something else, but not really. It is a Pentax K33 monochrome, whatever you call that thing, that I had for review. And... Um, that's a full frame monochrome camera. And that's Ash. She's an awesome model. I love working with her. She brings it every single time. Uh, yeah, so there you go. A little different. 
This is one of my favorite photos. This is my mentor, hero, teacher, friend, um, jazz legend, Ron Carter. This was taken at Birdland during a rehearsal that he was doing with Bill Charlap, which was an amazing concert. Of course, if you know who these guys are, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you're in the know. Full frame, crop sensor, pocket camera, uh, Canon Elf uh, camera from 1999. No, this was Fuji X-T5. And I believe this is the 50 millimeter as well. F1.4, yep, uh, 50 millimeter at 1.4. That's, I, I do love this image. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Full frame crop sensor on location portrait shoot for a very cool lady who does um, these, these cool floral arrangements. Um, works with horses. This is like on a little horse ranch, but that doesn't matter. This was a full frame Canon, Canon R5 7200. These are two of my buddies. Uh, that I play together a lot with in, uh, in the city. And this, I'm um, pretty sure it was either a Fuji X-T5 or an X-T50, but same sensor on either one of those cameras. Um, and this was taken somewhere in Manhattan. I don't remember. Um, but crop sensor, there you go. Okay. This is a young actress taken at my studio. Looks like I had a little bit of a clamshell lighting kind of thing going on there. Um, what are we thinking? Is this the Canon or the Fuji? Because that's pretty much everything in here will be either a Canon or a Fuji other than those couple of little outliers because that's what I use. Uh, this is the Fuji. This is your cropped sensor. 40, and, and all these, the Fujis have all been from a 40 megapixel uh, sensor just for clarification so far. Look at this handsome devil. Wow. Look at this guy. That's me, of course. Um, and I took a self-portrait. 50 millimeter F1 on Fuji X-T5. Okay. This is Kristen, actress. What do we think? This is Canon R5 50 millimeter full frame. Moving right along. All right. We got Cole, another actor. What is it? This is Fuji X-T5. And I'm pretty sure, again, this is the 50 millimeter. Yep, 50 millimeter F1. Another portrait I was uh, really honored to take of Maestro Ron Carter. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a curveball. I threw this into Confuse, Shock, Amaze, and Deflect. This is a Fuji GFX 100 S2. So this is actually a medium-ish format sensor. So I wanted you to see that, kind of how it looks next to these other ones. And of course, we are looking at everything on a screen. Um, and I didn't want to do any pixel peeping for this, but um, there you go. That's, that's a uh, Fuji medium format camera for what it's worth. Alex, taken at my studio. Full frame, crop, what do we think? This is a Canon R5, full frame. Okay, another one of Warren Vachet. This was from a concert out on Strong Island, and this is a Fuji. And now, uh, X-T5, and you know what lens this is? This is the Viltrox 27 1.2 lens, which I really like. It's a great lens. We've got Laura back. She's back in our gallery. And uh, what do we think? Full frame, crop, uh, Kodak disposable camera from 1994. Four, perhaps it could be you never know this was also fuji xt50 little xt50 camera so crop sensor laura keeps popping up in here and the reason i put another one of laura in here is because when i did this particular shoot with her we did both with full frame and crop sensor so those the last one we saw was a crop sensor and now we can see full frame this is canon r5 this is one of my favorite portraits that i've created so far drummer Matt Wilson's place, who's another well-known jazz drummer. This was taken in the house after it started raining. He moved the concert basically into his dining room, which was really cool and a lot of fun. And this is Fuji X-T50 again, crop sensor. John, portrait at my studio. Okay, this is Fuji X-T50. Oh, sorry, X-T5. This is crop sensor and uh, 50 millimeter Fuji lens. This is my buddy Paul. Paul Marty, great photographer. Look him up. Full frame Canon R5 50 millimeter. And I like to get close. As you probably notice now, you've seen some of my portraits. I do like to kind of get close a lot. 
Brandon. He's also an actor, model, cool dude. This was what? Full frame or crop sensor? This was with full frame. Full frame. Canon R5 again. Okay. Another one of Brandon. Uh, what do we think? Full frame, crop sensor. This was Fuji X-T5 crop sensor with a 16 to 55 lens. All right. We're almost done. We're in the home stretch. Rebecca, she's an actress. Uh, full frame crop sensor. What do you think? This was full frame Canon R5. Sabrina, model. This also full frame Canon R5. Charlie, another actor. Another one with a Canon R5. And then this is the last one. This is Ross, who's an awesome headshot photographer in Las Vegas. Good friend of mine. This was, what do we think? Full frame, crop sensor, micro four thirds, two thirds, micro three and a half, one quart. This was a Fuji X-T5 and um, I don't remember which lens. Does it tell us? Oh, yeah, of course. It's the 35 millimeter that I showed you before. All right. Well, that's that's all the, the images I'm going to show you. For me as a portrait photographer, I find that 90% of the time... Um, Either camera is going to do what I needed to do in the studio. Um, the reason why, and I, I had thought about selling the Canon gear at one point um, because I was using the Fuji pretty exclusively for a while. But, you know, I didn't because there are things I like about the Canon. And I was thinking about getting a GFX system to kind of replace the full frame Canon. But the, the truth is I don't need to spend any more money on photo gear. And what I have works. So I'm just going to stick with it until uh, whenever. Um, and, um, and then I found a good deal on that Canon 50 millimeter F 1.2 RF lens. I found a good use one at B and H. And so I picked that up and then I really fell in love with it on that camera. So I've been using that more lately in my studio. There's a lot of pros that I know who, who do have a full frame system. It's kind of their workhorse system, but then they also do use a, um, APS-C, most of them that I know use like a Fuji. They have like an X-T5 or an X-H2 um, or a 2S. And, and you'll find a lot of people will, will use two systems because we like certain things about both. So how do I choose which one to use in my, in my studio? Sometimes it depends on the focal length I want. Like right now, I only have a um, the 16 to 55 Fuji lens is is the only lens I have that's a wide angle zoom. So if I want wide angle zoom, it's just a practical reason that I'm going to take I'm going to use the Fuji if I need that uh, in my studio or, or on location. However, usually when I'm doing a portrait session, it's just going to be which focal length I want to use. Um, so I like 50 millimeter and I'm speaking in full frame terms. That's kind of where I've settled where a lot of my portraits are in that that one range nowadays. Uh, but sometimes I like using the 50, uh, the Fuji 50 millimeter because it's a 75 millimeter equivalent. So it gives you a little bit more of that portrait look compression wise. So, but you know, I'll go back and forth, um, you know, between which, which I use. Sometimes there's just what I'm in the mood to use. And you know, the dumbest reason is sometimes it's whichever one will tether. This video isn't to try and convince you that one is better than the other, or you need this one, or you need that one, or you need both. Just a little food for thought. I thought it would be interesting and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Now do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. If you really like this, share it. Why not? Just a couple of clicks. Send it to Aunt Ruth. Make sure you visit my links in the description below. Uh, check out b &H Photo in New York. They have been a great support to my channel. They will always loan me gear to test and then the only bad side is I have to send it back. <laughs> But, uh, but they've been really great to me. So please check them out. If you're looking for good photo gear, uh, buy from B&H. Use my little links down there so they know that you've got there from here. Other than that, here's wishing you a great day, everyone. Go out and uh, do take some great pictures today. It's snowing in New York right now. Well, I think it just stopped. Other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.